putt. Goddamn, get it on, will ya? Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes, cause his memories. We running through New York. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's BMW Dr. Dean here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the front and rear brake pads and discs on the BMW E60. This also relates to BMW E61, E63, and possibly the E65. I'm also gonna be showing you how to change the rear ones as well, and also how to adjust your handbrake on the, once the rear discs are off. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the locking wheel nut, and we're gonna remove all the bolts, as you can see at the rear here. There's five of them, one's a locking wheel nut, and we're gonna jack the car up and get the wheels off. And once we've done that, then I'm going to show you what you have to do to remove the discs and obviously the caliper and the, ca and the carrier bracket. So as you can see, the wheel is now off on the rear. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the caliper. You're going to have to take off this circle clip here that holds the brake pads and the caliper together so they don't rattle around. Also, you're going to want to take the bolts out the back here, which are underneath here, and also the brake pad wear sensor, which is running right here. After that's disconnected, then the caliper will come off like so you just want to push the brake pads in with a flathead screwdriver to loosen them up so you can take the caliper off then you're going to want to undo the nut here allen key nut to take the disc off once you've got the disc off you'll gain access to the brake pad shoes and then we're going to readjust them so once we've done that i'll be back to tell you what to do next There'll be two seven mil allen sockets as you can see here that go on the back here and you just loosen them bolts like like so and then the whole caliper will come off after you've took the caliper off you want to then take off the carrier as well you, you need to take the caps off as well which is sitting right here so you're gonna to need to take these off as well which will be right here over over on the caliper okay. so the caliper's off as you can see now next one is going to be the calipers carrier which is right here the two bolts here are going to be probably I think they're 17 mil on the back two you're gonna to need to take them off two bolts here and the carrier will come off then you have to take this allen key bolt out which is just down here on a brake disc can be anywhere depending on the position of the wheel and then after that's out the disc will just actually just slide straight out and then you've got access to the brake shoes okay so the carrier bolts are actually an 18 mil not a 17 mil socket so that's for a future reference they're an 18 mil right, so as you can see here's the brake shoes and now what we're going to really do is put the new disc on and then we're going to readjust the brake shoes because as if my handbrake is not sitting properly it's doing more than four clicks and obviously i need this done for mot so obviously it needs to be readjusted properly to the correct level otherwise it will fail the mot based on the maximum efficiency hit threshold okay guys so as you can see the brake the new brake this is back on the calipers back on the new pads are on now and obviously the handbrake's now been readjusted now what we're going to do is we're going to hardwire the sensor as the sensor broke so we're going to be hardwiring this one and just rigging it together so that way it doesn't trigger the brake warning light on the car or any of the AB, abs lights so what you're going to do is cut this connector off then just hardwire the two wires together and just sling it out the way wherever you want to put it possible and obviously after this one now we're going to move around to the other rear side which i'm not going to show you because it's just the same as this one fitting is the reversal of what it was put the 80 mil sockets back on the carrier put the caliper back on spread the piston push it back put the brake pads on and then just bolt it back up with the seven mil um allen key and then that's that's that done guys as you can see now we've got the other brake disc off on the rear now i'm just going to show you down here quickly i don't know if you can see that but the adjuster for the handbrake to adjust the shoes is right there um so what you have to do is turn this the hub and get this screw or any of them in line with that adjuster right here now i'm just showing you for reference so you lot can see where the adjuster actually is um as i didn't show you on the last one but so now you do not know you don't have to take the brake this off to get to the adjuster just shine the torch in and the adjuster sits right down here again i'm just going to show you just so you can clearly see it and obviously it's the same for the other side they both sit down here and obviously you turn them up to um tighten and down to unloosen, or I think it's down to unloosen actually, sorry, down, up to unloosen. But there you go guys, that's that one, which I'm showing you for the handbrake. And now I'm gonna show you once the new disc is back on the new pad. Now we're gonna be, as you can see, removing the front wheel and we're gonna get the front wheel off and then we're gonna start getting the caliper off on this one, which is the front side now. And we're also gonna remove the brake disc on this one. Now this is the side that come up on the MOT as an advisory. This is also the side that's pitted, scored, and the brake disc, the brake disc are completely knackered and I think the brake pads are completely worn out. So we're gonna be taking them off and finding out why these come up on the MOT and see how bad they actually really are. Um, BMW put them on their report as well, saying they're really in bad shape. 
and they need a change in. So let's see how bad they really are and how bad the dealer actually thought they were. Okay, guys, so as you can see, the brake discs are here for the front and obviously they look quite bad and scored and scratched up. Um, I'm not too sure on the brake pads, but they don't feel too good either. They feel quite weak and they're very, very flat as well. So what you're going to want to do is obviously when you before you take this off, you're going to want to turn the steering wheel towards the caliper way so you can see the bolts because obviously you cannot see the bolts from this angle. So you're going to want to turn the steering wheel towards obviously my side will be driver side but if you're in america it will be towards your passenger side um so you can see the bolts on this side you don't want the caliper turn this way around so the this part is facing there you want it th so this part comes out towards this way so the bolts sit behind here i think they're going to still be a seven mm millimeter allen, allen bolt and you're going to want to remove them bolt uh, caps and then remove the bolts and then obviously the caliper will come off then you want to take off the, ca the, the carrier as well once the carrier is off brake this comes off as well so we're back once I get that um, removed and once I turn the steering wheel. So as you can see, we're back now and the wheel is now back on the car. The brake is all fully nice and shiny now, as you can see. The old ones are quite actually bad. They had textile brake pads on, which I've, I have reason to believe that's probably why the person never replaced them because they're so expensive. Um, and they probably wanted the same ones and they don't want to have to spend that type of money again on a car they weren't going to keep. Um, but as you can see now, all the brake discs are shiny, pads are nice. And good um, and as you can see the same for the rear the rear one's all on a shiny handbrake's been adjusted it's perfect now we're just I'm just doing the other side as we speak when we do the other side as well just walk you around we're gonna be getting this wheel off now and obviously that will that break this quite a very scored as well and obviously the pads will be probably the same probably faded but we're gonna I want to check if they're faded differently to the others because if they are it means one of the calipers are sticking so I'm going to be checking them when we get this wheel off and seeing if they're, they're the same even wear. If not, then I'm going to have to probably change one of my calipers as well. We'll be back after I get this wheel off. Okay guys, so as you can see, the brake discs are now back on, um, on the now driver side. As you can see how shiny they are, the new pads are fitted as well, which are got full meat on them now. Um, I'm very happy with it as it's come out very good. I didn't have to change the brake pad sensors because they wasn't even worn. So I just changed them because I knew they were bad anyway from the last MOT. So now they've all been changed, I'm gonna now put the wheel back on and then I'm gonna pump the brakes, take this out for a bit and let the brakes bed in, test the handbrake and then we're gonna be going off for MOT. And we're gonna see if this car now passes MOT straight away without the need of needing anything else. So.